This is where the guy ate the guy's face. It yeah. was right there. Right there? Yeah, right there. Face eating situation. <laughs> yeah, that's how we do it in Miami, man. <laughs> My name is Michael Schwartz. I'm the chef and owner of the Genuine Hospitality Group. The Genuine Hospitality Group is our hospitality group. It's a number of restaurants. Michael's Genuine Food and Drink, we opened in 2007 in Miami in the Design District. Really spearheading, I think, in Miami, the, the local you know, farm to table movement. Really carefully sourced product, very simply prepared. Wood burning oven, great bar great energy and it's our flagship neighborhood restaurant and then restaurant Michael Schwartz at the Raleigh similar in spirit I think but just the best the best vibe on South Beach so the menu changes every day a lot of it rotates and it's really based on what's coming out of the ground the inspiration from the product that comes from the farm so we have a forager on staff and his job is to several times a week go down to the farms pick the best product and bring it back Look at that, super fresh. See how tight this is? Mm -hmm. This is an eggplant. It's like you never see stuff like this at a store. The dining scene when I moved here was very much about uh, glitz and flash and trend and it was really that sort of nightclub -y vibe. And that's still pretty prevalent in Miami, although I think over the years, the farm movement really started to take hold. Small farms started popping up. And that's really what we do, is focus on small farmers and the best product that we can get our hands on. This is beautiful okra. Simplicity is the, uh, is the key word here. <laughs> the okra is so good. <laughs> so last night was a great opportunity for me to hang out with people, because usually we're just all work. And so Eric Larkey is our wine director for the Genuine Hospitality Group. Great wit and sense of humor and very knowledgeable, obviously, on wine. And Elad, who is the owner of the Broken Shaker, our favorite cocktail bar in Miami, and always a lot of fun, interesting, colorful character. I'm going to hell. But I'll be the fucking bartender in hell. <laughs> and like finger Swedish girls. Two chain. Where? Look at that two chain. That's a broken Where shaker money. I take my wife to Burger King. <laughs> to Burger King? Yeah, dude. After 12 years, you don't have to impress your wife. Burger King. We started at Michael's Genuine, and uh, it was Elad's great inspiration. He loves tequila and mezcal. Yeah, this is really good. This is the best mezcal in the world. The agave, it's called uh, Tobola. It's a really small agave, and you can find it only under the shade of the mountain of Oaxaca. Right. And it's super rare and expensive. That's this one? Yeah. That's do you one. shoot that, or do you sip that? You sip it with some sangrita on the side. Some prostitute as well. With a prostitute on this side? <laughs> Let's go, man. I'm fucking starving. First stop was Tap Tap. We're gonna meet Brittany there. You know, Brittany? Brittany, our bartender. Yeah. Yeah. She and she worked, worked there. there for a long time. Right. She's awesome. Tap Tap's been around for about 20 years. I think maybe more. It captures really the spirit of the Haitian community here in Miami, which is pretty prevalent. We want mojitos. Mojitos. It's supposed to be very limey. Mm hmm supposed to be very lime and very tart. I never saw a show about Miami that people drink mojito. That's so original. It's a mojito. Here's to originality. Ooh, originality, for sure. Tap tap is a truck. Like a gypsy taxi. Yeah. Painted in bright colors. That's it right over there. Like on the wall, that little van looking thing. They call it tap tap because you gotta hit it to get it stopped. So for the owner, tap tap is a metaphor for transporting the whole country. This is the spinach and coconut. This is the cock salad. That's going to be a little spicy because it has scotch bonnet pepper in it. And this is the flat fruit. It's fucking good, dude. Yeah, that's good. It's very homey feel, yeah, you know? It's, it's, all, it's all like... You can't make this at home. No, you know, adult really farm, you can get it. It's goaty. It's awesome. Good, 
From there, we headed over to Pub Belly Sushi. Pub Belly is like a Latin take on a gastro pub with an Asian twist. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. That's fucked up. Pub Belly Sushi is a great example of Miami in that it's very diverse and lots of things going on, lots of different influences. What I like about this place, good quality ingredients, a little adventurous, right? They try like, yeah. there's that whole Latin Asian mix, but 95% great results. We had a hamachi roll that had snow crab in it with some like crispy tempura and we had the tuna poke, but it had lots of seaweed in it which gave it a good salinity instead of it being overly sweet and a lot of times it's all like sesame oiled out. Hamachi kama, right? Yeah. Our Asian porters and dishwashers in the kitchen will fight over the, over the heads and the collars. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Right here? Right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the hamachi is the fish and the collar is the collar. So it's that part that's right up by the head. It's very common in sushi bars. They usually broil it or grill it. It's usually with some sweet like glaze, which they didn't do. It was served with a ponzu sauce. Oh my god, oh my god. What's that? It was like the biggest hamachi collar I ever saw. It was like the whole fish. Oh my god, it's really good. It's fucking good. Where's your sake? Chef, that's your water. Oh! <laughs> Where's the fucking car, dude? I want the car right now. I want limousine. I want two prostitutes. I want a fucking <laughs> bottle of champagne. I want something, dude. Let's do it. Apparently, Michael hates my drink and they think they're too sweet. <laughs> Maybe it's just that you want to make drinks that you think people will like? I mean, what the fuck, man? <laughs> hey, live. What's happening at the Shaker tonight, man? Yeah, I don't. I don't want to promote it. <laughs> well, we're going there right now. I'm just. Are asking we going to the Broken Shaker? Oh my god! From there to the Broken Shaker, which was really a great vibe. They had a little live music going on there. He went and picked some herbs, which was really great. He's got his little herb garden. Come, we're gonna pick up some grapefruit for the garden. Come. Grapefruit? Grapefruit. I'm thinking he does not have a fucking grapefruit tree. We don't fucking play. Get out of here, the man. It's wow. Be, man. Let's do it. Went behind the bar and it was crazy busy, you know, and it's always fun to watch Elad behind the bar, man. He's like a mad scientist, a little sloppy. And he whipped up this drink with the herbs and the citrus and bourbon. It was very unlikely, but it was really, really great. And then out came this big board with this burger that he's been raving about. There were some pickles, there was chips. Homemade olives. Homemade olives. Yeah, we take the olives, we cook them with cinnamon, you know, right in the middle. Uh, and a punch bowl. Yeah. So we have a gin-based punch here with some fresh watermelons, some fresh citrus, mm -hmm. a lavender ginger reduction that we make in-house, and some fresh herbs from the garden. Okay. So this has been the best place ever. Cheers, cheers guys. Cheers. From there we went to the Cypress Room. I'm really fucking excited to go to the fucking Cypress Room. It's kind of like one of those places that it's an occasion to go there, no? The Cypress Room, our newest addition in the design district, is a, sort of a throwback restaurant. White tablecloth, crystal chandeliers, dead animal heads on the wall, and a beautiful bar. I think it's the most beautiful bar in Miami. We met up with George Figaro. He's our fishmonger, fish guy. George, what do you got, man? Whoa. These are two of my traditional fish that I really like to serve, and I'd really like you to do something raw with them today. That looks like yellow jack. Right. And that looks like your namesake. Exactly. I gotta always have a trigger. Trigger. Beautiful. We're gonna take the lobster meat out. Uh -huh. We're gonna do like a ponzu ceviche style sauce. And okay. Put it back in raw. Let's do it. Let's do it. So we had George doing the lobster, which was great to just take out of the shell, chopped it up, mixed it with some beautiful cucumbers from Swank Farms. 
lots of herbs, a little bit of Tobiko, lots of ginger and garlic and lime juice and soy. Hey, let George taste this. Beautiful, beautiful. Bradley was breaking down the trigger fish, biggest trigger fish I ever saw. Trigger fish is actually the same family as the hog snapper. If you look at the mouth, it's a crustacean eater. It feeds off a lot of the corals, so then you get all those flavors. Believe it or not, all those colors on the reef are like flavors in the kitchen. Chef Derek from Royal Caribbean was cutting the fish liver. And sous chef Mike Beltran, he manned the grill. And then we cooked the trigger fish and then a bunch of vegetables that we grilled on the wood burning grill. What is this, mezcal and lobster juice? Lobster juice mezcal shot. Find the really expensive one. Nobody's looking now. Like $160 bar, are you cool with loves to get behind any bar. Christian, our bartender, was sort of his bar back, making sure he had whatever he needed. And I don't know what he whipped up. A couple drinks on the fly. No, I'm making a Tamara drink. Trio of drinks. Don't give any hints of drink, right? He was on his best behavior behind the bar. Yeah. I never saw him so neat and clean. Hey, he's in this room. Hi, this bar. Cheers, Michael. Hey, start passing plates. I would go from trigger fish liver first. George, the liver's great. What did you put on the liver? I did a little um, lemon juice, olive oil, a tiny bit of soy, and salt, and a little bit of cilantro. It's really beautiful. I don't know if anyone ate the lobster yet, but you guys gotta hit the lobster, man. Do the lobster. It's perfectly seasoned. What's that? That's grilled trigger. Okay, good guys. The chef. Everybody for the chef. The chefs. A lot of chefs in the kitchen tonight. So good. You know what it needs? Juice. It needs juice. Where's the fucking juice? The juice in the synagogue.